Hi, Scorpio. Welcome in, and thank you so much for joining. Happy birthday to all of you. I hope you have a fantastic month. Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate your support. There are timestamps available for you in the comment section as well as the description box, so you can skip ahead at any time. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate. If the messages are not for you, leave them for someone else and you can check your other signs or check back next time. You're being protected. You're being protected. Going for a spiritual upgrade. We have consciousness. You are. You are. You could be receiving downloads that don't necessarily make sense in the middle of the night. Yeah, look, look at this strength. Your intuitive abilities are strengthening. I'm also getting a lot of downloads. Uh, I feel like these are not going to make sense to you at first. Do you need to keep a journal, Scorpio? Write this stuff down. I feel like it's happening as you're trying to go to sleep to success. I also see your mental health improving. The way you think about things, but your self-control as well. Like your ability to handle situations in a graceful way with that strength card and success, kind of like... Things cannot get to you the way they may have once triggered you before. And it's kind of like if you do get triggered, you recognize it immediately. What else for Scorpio? Ghost. Okay, so there's a ghost coming out in your reading. They're in pain. Somebody who ghosted you or somebody who disappeared from your life. In a lot of pain this month. I'm getting their suffering. What else, Spirit? Okay. Trust. Trust the process. Trust what's going on in your life. Trust that even the things that don't seem right, it's just, it's all working out the way it's supposed to. This trust card also reminds me a lot of having faith. Isolation. Scorpios need to trust the reason why you are being separated from other people. You could feel isolated or outcasted. Or you could feel like people are just falling falling left and right out of your life. It's You need to trust that process. People are going to fall out, especially when you're upgrading. Because that's clearly what's happening here. Your, your consciousness is, is elevating here. Your frequency... Like, your frequency is elevating. So there are going to be people in your life that just disappear. Especially the people who caused you pain. They don't have a place in this frequency. And I feel like some of you Scorpios, you know, your guides are wanting you to trust that that's happening for a reason. Because we get put in a period of isolation during this process while we are while our frequency is raising. And that's exactly what's ha happening to you right now. I'm also getting like you're loved beyond, you are so loved. Tell me more about that. Hunger. Make sure you're eating, Scorpio. I know that sounds silly, but, you know, you might feel, you know, these types of frequency shifts come with some uh, symptoms. It could be lack of appetite or increased appetite. 
but be very mindful when you're eating. Be very mindful of your cravings. But the first immediate reaction I got from that hunger is your hunger for success. We have magic. Yeah, I'm just getting you creating magic. You're Use, those of you that are using magic, be very cautious with your intentions behind it. That's what's coming out. Anything else? Be sure to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. Yeah, look at that. Intuition. Trust your intuition above all else, right? You guys might have a lot of sweet, you might have a lot of sweet cravings this month. It's just one of those silly messages that are coming out. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest. Let's see what else. What else wants to come out for Scorpio? of wands so you're gonna have a decision some of you guys this is a decision on uh leaving a place of employment i do see a new job offer coming in or you leaving a certain lifestyle behind some of you guys are going to be manifesting a new business using your talents okay I'm, i am seeing self-employment i see you finding yourself at a position on leaving a, a job Leaving an employer to work for yourself using your own talents. Okay. Yeah, look at that. The page of wands. There's good news surrounding a business venture. Okay. You're being encouraged to use your talent. If you're not wanting to be self-employed, you're definitely being encouraged to use your skills and your talents, whatever that means to you that you are not using. You have skills that you should be using. Yeah, look. Eight of Pentacles. This is a new job. Okay, it's also more cards indicating self-employment, building a business, building a good, you guys are building, there's a good, you have a good reputation if you care. Most Scorpios don't. <laughs> Some do that I know. But a lot of the times the Scorpios I know are pretty rebellious. However, your message is that you have a great reputation and I feel like you should use that to your advantage and you could become self-employed. Or this is about you building a good reputation. But I'm getting you have an excellent reputation, Scorpio. Take that message how it resonates. It could involve you acquiring a new position, a higher position. We're going to move on to the singles. You can use the timestamps if you would like. Sorry about that. I needed, I needed a couple of sips of water. Just didn't want, want you to hear me chugging. <laughs> All right. Single Scorpios. Single Scorpios. Not going to take it because of the way it came out. But for some of you guys need to hear the surrender your addictions. Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with a healthier alternative. Not going to take it. That's what it said. That's for at least one of you out there. 
what does Scorpio need to surrender, my single Scorpio? It says surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So this is about accepting people for who they are, not who they potentially could be as well, is how I'm getting that. Your guides also want you to love your life, enjoy your life right now, okay? I mean, enjoy your life always, but there, there's a particular thing that you might be having a hard time coming to terms with, and you know... Flow with whatever the circumstances are of your situation because flowing with it is going to create space for good things to enter. Because when you're at peace, because it's saying accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. When we're at peace, we attract more peace. a Pisces coming towards you. Be sure to trust your intuition, Scorpio, when you're meeting people. That's what I'm getting, single Scorpios. It's kind of like just, you know who people are. When you know who they are, you know who they are. Listen to your intuition. It's going to save you a lot of heartache and a lot of time. You could be into, S of course you are, you're here, but a lot of you guys could be into esoteric wisdom, okay? Um, I'm also getting something about, something here is being hidden. What exactly is it? Of course, you know, your guides might not want you to know just yet because you have to learn at your own pace. You have to learn your lessons at your own pace, but there's definitely a hidden surprise. This is all about you discovering something about yourself before that one before someone comes into your life. Whoa. We have the Hierophant. The Hierophant can talk about commitments and traditional values, okay? It can talk about... What I'm getting from this is whoever is coming towards you, Scorpio, that one, you both are into the same stuff. You both are into esoteric things, spirituality, growing, maturing. I don't think this is your typical conventional person. I don't. I think the reason why this is coming out is because you guys have similar belief systems. And I do feel like this, you and this person are going through spiritual transformation separately. You're both discovering your, your personal truths. Yeah, and there's good news surrounding that in November. So there's some type of forward movement with you and this person coming together. This is the missing puzzle piece. But you do have to surrender to what is. You do have to surrender to your, your callings, or not necessarily your callings, but you have to surrender to your truths. Some of you, this person could be younger than you. They could be into politics or they could be an actor as well or some type of athlete, inspirational speaker, definitely. That's what the Page of Wands is. This is definitely someone who is very motivational. Well, the fortune. This is about your soulmate. This is a soulmate coming in. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about cycles in life, okay? It's also about fate, chance, destiny. I do see a very powerful connection coming towards you. This is a general reading. That's all I'm really getting from it. Is there is movement surrounding a spiritual connection. That wheel is turning, bringing you two together. It's actually kind of knocking the breath out of me. So you got to kind of just surrender to what is right now and trust that all of this is happening in divine timing. Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, 
energy. There's a very powerful soulmate coming in. I feel the need to pull you an angel number. I wouldn't typically do that in a singles reading. I'm getting like divine masculine, divine feminine energy, of course. You two have a, a similar life purpose or, you know, this could be motivational speaking. Both of you with the page of wands, something along those lines. You're definitely examples for other people on their, or you're going to be examples for other people on their soul's journey after you go through this. Mentors. I see your, your mentor. Oh, wow. Give me an angel number for Scorpio, please. Single Scorpio. Angel number 555, five, five. stay optimistic. Massive change is coming to your love life, to your life in general. So a lot of you guys, this is telling me if you know you have a calling, you need to surrender to your calling. Because that's going to bring you too closer. Be on the lookout for 555. Five, five. Sorry about that. That's my cat in the background. <laughs> It says a major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path's direction. Stay open and stay positive. Holy moly. Okay, now we're going to take a look at those of you dealing with a past person. Okay, so the person that Scorpio is thinking about, please. The person that Scorpio is thinking about, Five of Wands in reverse. Why are the Five of Wands in reverse? King of Wands. They want to put an end to the drama. Whatever the drama might be, I feel like you guys may have not seen eye to eye in the past. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but looks like two of pentacles. Looks like there was an argument or some drama surrounding not being prioritized by this person. How do they do, Scorpio? The devil in reverse. They want to come out of whatever this drama is, guys, is what it's telling me. Somebody may have blamed you in the past for something. They may have, like... It's definitely getting, like, someone wanted to put the blame on you. But they're realizing that that's not solving anything. Temperance in reverse. Exactly, that's how they feel. They're really imbalanced right now. Somebody who wishes they wouldn't have done something or said something or acted on impulse. They think you're detached from them. Like, they see what the devil in reverse. Because... I'm getting like in the past, they may have seen you as someone who was attached to them. Like they thought you were just attached to them. And now they're seeing you as unattached. Okay. That you're not, you're not worried about them. They feel temperance in reverse. That doesn't make them feel very good. They're losing patience for the situation. Somebody may have tried to smooth things over with you in the past, or they it's that's to come. But I'm feeling like for a lot of you guys, this person may have tried to sweet talk you or persuade you, smooth things over with you, but the Two of Pentacles still stands. It's like they were trying to uh, smooth things over, but they were still acting the same way. Still giving you the same energy. 
And look at this, the Seven of Cups, the energy of confusion, mixed signals, not, not being up front with you. But how they feel is they're losing patience. So what do they want to do about that? What do they want to do about that? Four of Cups in reverse. Uh, they want to come back around. Four of Cups in reverse. Like, this is someone that may, you know, look at this. They want to take action. So somebody who has not been taking action wants to take action because they feel like there's been things left unsaid. They're wondering if you guys still have a chance to work something out. They want a fresh start. But they know in order to do that, they're going to have to stop ignoring you. I feel like somebody was purposely trying to ignore you or ignore whatever this was. The five of wands in reverse. Like, I feel like a lot of you Scorpios might have simply put something. And they're like, I don't understand. And you're like, well, it's pretty simple. Da, 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 whatever you said. You're like, it's pretty simple. And they're like, what do you mean? You know, this is definitely someone that was acting stupid in the past or acting dumb. Like acting dumb, like acting like they didn't understand where you were coming from. Or acting like they weren't doing anything wrong when they knew they were. Anything else? And I have ones in reverse. I do feel like this person, especially if there's somebody that is constantly in and out of your life or if there's constant up and downs between you and this person, they do want to, they want to walk a straight line with the Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel like this person wants to walk a straight line with you, especially being the uh, Ace of Wands being here, the Four of Cups. They want to stop acting on impulse. Like if this is a cheater or if this is someone that acts on impulse, they want to stop doing that. They want to stop being a player. Yeah, that's, I just want to clarify further. Somebody wants to stop being shady. They want to stop being a scammer. They want to stop. I don't know, uh, you know, what are their next actions? To commit, the higher, to get, pfft. Somebody wants to get your hopes back up. It's what I'm getting. You take that how it resonates. They want to get your hopes back up. Five of Cups. I wanted to clarify the Hierophant. The Hierophant is somebody wanting to commit to you. Wanting to have a traditional relationship with you. But the Five of Cups in reverse. Now this go, this go one of two ways. They just want to get your hopes back up again just to have you. Or they want to do right by you. And I feel like they do want to do right by you guys. But this person's so wishy-washy. I would be very careful. What do they want to say to Scorpio? They're very hot and cold. And it's telling me they want to get your hopes up. It says we both know I'm not the one for you. So they know themselves that they're, they, they know that they haven't been right by you. Like I said before, but we both know I'm not the one for you. So they know you can do better. You want better, and I feel like, again, you made that perfectly clear in the past with the Five of Wands in reverse. You made it perfectly clear. Anything else? I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, because you're backing out, or because you're not there anymore. You're not... Of course they wish... It's always when... It's always when you've had enough that people are like, Oh, I, you know, wish I would have done that, and I'll do right, and that's what's going to happen. They're going to want to get your hopes up. They're going to want to do right by you. But for some reason, for a lot of you guys, I feel like it's when you are fed up. What's Scorpio's energy behind all this? Six of Wands. You're going to feel successful. You're going to feel victorious in a situation. You're going to feel validated. You're going to feel like your point of view matters. 
you will be getting attention from this person, but with this, the Four of Wands in reverse, I'm not quite sure if you're going to feel as deeply connected to them as you once were. Could be any sign, but the strong signs we have are Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Taurus, possibly Libra or Gemini, but not a lot of strong energy there for that. All right, cross watchers. We're going to do a cross watcher section. You can skip to the timestamps if you want to skip past all the shuffling. It just started raining really hard at my house. It has been a crazy day, crazy energies today. I'm glad the rain's here. Okay. Spirit, for my Scorpios, Aries through Pisces, for my Scorpios. For my Scorpios, please. Aries through Pisces. Scorpio, if you are dealing with an Aries... The drama continues with you in this Aries. I feel like the Aries is going to be incredibly petty. They're not backing down from their side. I'm getting the Aries is looking for uh, a fight, actually. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus wants to speak to you. I do feel like this Taurus has a strong attraction towards you, but I feel like they like to come across as like logical. They like to come across as someone who makes head over heart decisions, but there is passion there. They're just trying to keep their cool right now around you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the tower. Okay. I'm getting the Gemini, you know, does want to, I see unexpected communication from a Gemini, but I feel like the Gemini is a, a mess right now. The Gemini is just a complete disaster with the tower. The Gemini is going through something pretty transformational, pretty big. You singles could be meeting a Gemini with the tower coming out in their energy because this Gemini is going through a spiritual transformation. I'm just getting, it's a, their life is crazy right now. You're going, I mean, if you're dealing with a cancer, they are very attracted to you. They want a fresh start. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is held back, hesitant to approach you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo is closed off. I feel like it's a stalemate between you and that Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra is obsessed with you, fixated on you. If you're dealing with another Scorpio, If you're dealing with another Scorpio, they're being sneaky as hell. Seven of Swords. Uh, I'm getting they're a liar. But they want to communicate. And they're spying on you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is held back. They're focused on other things. I'm just getting like the Sagittarius is strategically trying to be held back from you at this time. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn really likes you. They like your personality. They like your energy. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aquarius is very secretive. They're hiding something from you. If you're dealing with a Pisces. The Pisces would like to communicate. Uh, this could be a new Pisces entering your life, by the way. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but the, the Pisces does want some type of new communication to come through. All right, those are your messages, Scorpio. I hope this gave you some clarity. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. And happy birthday to all of you Scorpios out there. Until next time, bye.